Hey, what's up? It's Travis, and the other day I was able to see a film called Don't Breathe. It's actually the number one film in the land right now, and it's about a group of guys and one girl who uh, who try to rob this blind guy because you know they live in Detroit. They want to get out of Detroit, and they know that he's got a lot of money stashed away inside his house. But the tagline of the movie is just because he's blind doesn't mean he's a saint and he's got some dirty secrets and uh well they get in a little bit of mischief whenever they break into his house uh but some people have called it a horror movie i wouldn't call it a horror movie it's more of a suspenseful thriller movie but i gotta tell you it's one of the best ones i've seen in years uh it stars stephen lang as the blind guy he's a, a war veteran who lost his vision and uh, his daughter was killed in a car accident, and he got the settlement money, so he had a lot of money stashed away. And these these uh, three people, they uh, you know try to rob him. Now the weird thing about this is, you've got three people that are breaking into some guy's house, and somehow those people are the good guys, and the blind man becomes the bad guy, which doesn't make sense because really he's just defending his own property, but these people are the good guys. Didn't really make sense until later on in the movie you find out this blind man has some dark secrets. Uh, it actually stars Stephen Lang. You know him from Avatar. He played the blind man. Jane Levy, she plays Rocky, who is the female lead. And uh, the male lead is played by a young guy named Dylan. Uh, I'm going to mispronounce his name. Dylan Man Manette. That's what we're going to call him, Dylan Manette. And the cool thing about it, he's from right here in Evansville, actually. So if you see the movie, you see the main... Um, hero of the movie the guy uh yeah he's from evansville so that's pretty cool to see and uh there's a lot of a lot of edge of your seat moments it's not a scary movie i wouldn't call it a scary movie it's more of a suspenseful thriller but it leaves you thinking oh my gosh this is intense it's super intense and really if you're gonna go see it i'd say it's definitely worth the watch uh it's uh it's about an hour and a half long and it's it's nonstop edge of your seat like heart throbbing moments. There's some there's some cliffhangers. There's some uh, twists, and it's it's really funny. Like uh, when I was seeing the movie, I was seeing it with my girlfriend, and she goes, "Man, I hope they make a a sequel of that movie." She goes, "Why do they call it Don't Breathe?" And I said, "Well, this guy's blind, so all of his other senses are just better. Then obviously he has to make up for him because he can't see. So you know if they breathe really hard, he's gonna hear it." And that's why they call it Don't Breathe. She goes, well, they should make a sequel to it called Don't Sneeze. And for some reason, I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. So look out in theaters soon. Don't sneeze. That might happen. But all, overall, Don't Breathe, fantastic movie. If you have not seen it yet, check it out at your theater. And remember, when you're watching it, the main hero of the movie, Dylan Manette. That's his name. He's from Evansville. So that's really cool to hear and see. But still, while you're watching it, see if you think about the same things I do. Like, these people are breaking into this guy's house. Technically, they are the bad guys. Yet, they're the heroes, the good guys of the movie. Because this guy's just defending it. That was the main issue I had with it. But, uh, obviously, I can't complain about the movie overall. I would go see it again. And you should go check it out. It's called Don't Breathe. It's in theaters now.